Park Street Books is proud to sponsor the Mike Page Judo Club. Find them locally at 504 Main Street, Medfield, Mass. Open Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Or visit parkstreetbooks.com no matter where you are. That's parkstreetbooks.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we're going to draw a beaver. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. The important thing is that you make your mark. All right, I thought since it's the beginning of spring and I saw a very excited beaver the other day coming out to uh, enjoy the weather, I thought we could do a beaver celebrating the start of spring. So I'm just going to make uh, a long curve like this. And then I'm going to come up. These will be his feet down here. And then I'm going to connect this so he's essentially kind of a rectangular blob. Um, almost like if you think of a cartoon pillow that is moving, that's, that's kind of what this beaver will be. Um, so it's a rectangle that has taken to move. Um, next I'm going to put his eyes over here. And we'll make him a little bigger. He was very excited to see the sun and be warm. And I might give him some raised up eyebrows like that. And I'm going to make this beaver running, which is why our rectangle has changed shape. So I'm going to give him a leg over here. This, his leg is raised up. The other leg is down. And we'll make sort of a kite shape over here. And I believe beavers have very dark feet, so I'm going to fill that in. And same kind of almost kite shape for the other foot, so I'm making, almost like I'm going to make a letter A, and then we'll make it a little shorter at the bottom half. And again, I'm going to fill that in because I'm pretty sure beavers have dark feet. Uh, then I'm going to give him some quick spaghetti arms up towards the sky. Again, he was very excited to see that sun. And you can choose what his hands look like, whether they're kind of human-like. Uh, I'm going to make them slightly human. Like that. A couple quick little hot dog shapes for the fingers. Uh, then for the nose, I think I'm just going to do kind of a letter V. Um, and off of that, the start of a letter A, this is where his teeth will be. And now we're turning that letter A into a little house. So you can see the start of the letter A is now the roof, and we've drawn a little house right there. And we'll split those. And then I'm going to turn up on either side just a little bit. And I might make his jaw wide open because, again, he was very excited to see warm weather return. And I'll leave a little bit of a lighter patch at the bottom for the tongue. And our beaver is going to want some ears, so I'm going to put two very tiny little lumps poking out of his head with little lines inside of that. And then in order to make it a beaver and not just any other forest critter, I'm going to make a tail like that and kind of fairly squared off. And then we'll do some diagonal lines 
on the tail. And if you want, you can even make like a light patch on his belly. That's optional. Um, and we'll give him a quick shadow down here. If you want your beaver to be, rather than running, maybe yours is dancing or doing something else ridiculous, you could always add in whatever you want for your beaver to be doing. Uh, you could certainly give him a cane and a top hat or something, have him be tap dancing. Um, and we're going to add in a line behind him for the horizon line. This pen does not like to work at this angle. There we go. And there is our beaver celebrating the return of spring. If you want, you can give him um, a caption saying something funny. I don't want to steer your doodle too much. You finish yours off however you'd like. Thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed doing the, our spring beaver. Don't forget to tune in next time for another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club when we will be drawing a king. So tune in then. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thanks for watching. Park Street Books is proud to sponsor the Mike Page Doodle Club. Park Street Books is an independent children's book and toy store. With nothing electronic in the store, Park Street Books encourages kids to read, play, and unplug. Find them locally at 504 Main Street, Medfield, Mass. Open Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Or visit parkstreetbooks.com no matter where you are. That's parkstreetbooks.com.